When you want to time speeches in a Zoom meeting, the virtual background feature of Zoom is an excellent way to do that. Let me show you how. When you take up the role as a timer in a Zoom meeting, you may be tempted to use cards like this. Green to show the minimum time, yellow to show the target time and perhaps the red card to show that you have reached the maximum time. The problem with such signaling devices is they can be quite distracting and sometimes the colors don't look correct because of the lighting in the room. Zoom has a feature called virtual backgrounds and the way we set the virtual background is if you see the video icon and you click the arrow next to it, we have the option called choose virtual background. The virtual background feature allows you to set any image as your background. For example, we can use this feature to replace the background with solid colors like green, yellow and red. Toastmasters International provides these three backgrounds as the official virtual backgrounds. You can download them from the link I have provided in the video description. I also created this virtual background and I will explain how I use this in a Zoom meeting. Now that I have my four images, let me go back to the virtual background and click the plus symbol and choose add image. From the folder where I have stored the images, let me first select the white image and click open. Then select the green image and the yellow and the red. Now that I have the four images, I can switch between them by clicking on the appropriate color. And when I want to switch off the virtual background, I can come and click None. The final touch I like to add is to remove myself from the picture and keep only the virtual background. And the way I do that is I use the small black piece of cloth and place it on top of the web camera. Now it's completely black. When I choose the virtual background, let's say white, then you will see only the virtual background. The same would happen when I choose one of the colors, let's say green, yellow and red. Now the participants will see only the colors on the screen and nothing else. During the meeting, your screen will appear like this to the audience. And they will know exactly where the timer is located and whether they are speaking within their allotted time limits. When a speaker starts speaking, as a timer, you will time him based on the allotted time and click on the Choose Virtual Background. When the speaker reaches the minimum time, just click on the green color. When the speaker reaches the target time, you will click the yellow. And when the speaker reaches the maximum time, click the red. And the red will stay till the speaker finishes. You will note down the time and switch back to the white color so that you are back in the timing mode. When it is your turn to give the timing report, you can uncover the camera and switch off the virtual background so that the audience can see you when you are speaking. The virtual background feature is not available on all the devices. This article from Zoom explains the minimum requirements needed for virtual background to work. You may want to check if your device meets the requirements. For example, virtual backgrounds are not available on Android devices. For iPhone devices, you need iPhone 8 and above. If you are using a Windows or Mac computer or laptop, the system requirements are mentioned in this document. So there you have it. If your device supports virtual backgrounds, then it's a great way to perform the timer role in your next Zoom meeting.